Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to take 10 of the greatest players in NBA history and we are going to put them on random current NBA teams. So on the screen in front of you guys, you do see the Wheel of Rebuild. We are going to spin this wheel 10 times and whatever team it lands on, that specific team is going to get one of the top 10 greatest players of all time. Uh, now keep in mind, as we go through the players here and start trading them to the other teams, we are only doing legendary players not guys that are currently in the nba so you are not going to see lebron james on this list because he's already on the los angeles lakers in real life right um so yeah man and also keep in mind too that as far as like the top 10 players go this is according to the all-time team ratings for nba 2k19 this is not necessarily a reflection of my opinion or yours it's just simply what 2k is saying for the overall basis i thought that's the best way to do it just kind of keep things simple and keep things from you know getting too crazy in the comments so here we go, guys. The first player we are starting off with is obviously going to be Michael Jordan. He is a 99 overall player um, for the Chicago Bulls. I mean, we all know MJ, the other guys. I mean, come on, man. The greatest player of all time. Some might say LeBron is, but just look at these scoring numbers. Absolutely crazy. So here we go. The team, Michael Jordan, is going to basically spin the bitch-ass wheel of rebuild. He is going to. Oh, no, man. Oh, my God. The Philadelphia 76ers. Yo, that is actually going to be, like, crazy. I mean, that's that's pretty much a perfect fit there, man. Um, you know, let me, uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me do a trade with another team. Just because, like, he's going to go on that team. And Ben Simmons can can be, like, the Scottie Pippen out there. Just the guy that, like, gets all other players involved. And then Michael Jordan just takes over. Of course, you got Joel Embiid out there. Uh, Jimmy Butler probably goes to the small forward position. And J.J. Reddy comes off the bench. Or even at times, like, MJ and J.J. playing together uh, would be absolutely deadly. So, wow, dude. I'm thinking so far this uh the 76ers team is taking a big time W. Okay, the next player we are doing is another 99 overall player for the Los Angeles Lakers. That is Magic Johnson, guys. 99 overall. Um, of course, Magic Johnson, you know, had a, had a pretty short NBA career. I mean, he played, I guess, played a few seasons out there, but it could have been even longer. Um, was just always one of the best pi uh, passing big guys in the entire NBA. Could score the basketball, rebound, do everything out there at the size of 6'9", 220. Um, this type of point guard per uh, fits perfectly into this current NBA so the team he is going to is the the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, so that's going to be interesting, kind of like working Magic and uh, Damian Lillard into the team together. But I mean, like Magic could just be listed as small forward, and that would just be fine. So uh, regardless, it's a it's a big time pickup for them. It gives the uh, I mean, it, it obviously does make uh, Damian Lillard the second option on this team, but then you know CJ McCollum becomes the third option. Of course, he's got Nurkic out there. A lot of good pieces for Magic to work with on this team. I'm very curious to see how that team uh, pans out. All right, next up, we have the center of the all-time Milwaukee Bucks. You guys know who it is. It is going to be Kareem Abdul. Where's he at, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Jabbar. Okay, he's up, he's up here. Okay, there we go, guys. Nine, oh, wait. Nine, dude, he's also 99 overall. That's absolutely crazy. Man. It's not really crazy because he's like the greatest center of all time. But still, there's like so many 99 overalls in this game. All right, who is going to get the first center of this? There is quite a few centers on this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well. <laughs> All right. I mean, <laughs> the Golden State Warriors just got. You know what, man? Oh, man. I, I, I really want to just not do this. I really just want to not do this at all. But I have no other choice, man. I got to be fair. I can't always be hating on the Golden State Warrior fans like this. Oh my god, man. Yo, this team just became absolutely just unbeatable. You know what? This might low-key be a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, Golden State Warriors A-2-0 challenge at this point. Wow, dude. Okay, okay. We moving on, though. Uh, next up, we have a 98 overall member of the Los Angeles Lakers. It, of course, is going to be Kobe Bryant. As we pull him up over here real quick, 98 overall. Now, guys, I, I got really scared for a second because I was looking at the ratings before I was doing this video, and I went to like the all like um all like to like list all the roster players out there, and for some reason, 2K does not put the all-time players into the like all roster category on here. So you actually have to sort through the all-time teams to find the players. So for a second there, I thought the highest rated Kobe in this game was a 95 overall. And I was going to say, James Harden is rated higher than Kobe in this game. But then I was made uh, aware that the all-time players are not listed. So Kobe, of course, is a 98 overall. So here we go. The team he is going to is the... Well, speaking of James Harden, y'all just got the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. So he's probably going to have to go to the small forward position. 
uh, because this team does have, uh, you know, Chris Paul on it and James Harden for the backcourt. Now, it's going to be interesting because we all know that Chris Paul was supposed to be a member um, of the Los Angeles Lakers, but that trade was vetoed by the NBA um, for whatever reason. I mean, I don't understand that. I don't understand how that happens, but, you know, DeMarcus Cousins can get signed for $5 million. So, yeah, uh, we're going to see Chris Paul and Kobe play for the first time together. So, there we go, man. Kobe Bryant on the Houston Rockets, not on the Lakers in this case. All right, next up, we have a member of the Boston Celtics. I feel like this guy would be the perfect, just like stretch four in today's NBA. And that is, go oh, it's not, not Kyrie. Definitely not Kyrie Irving. We have to go back a little ways here. Um, it is going to be Larry Bird, guys. Larry Legend, 98 overall player. Let's uh, spin this real quick here, see what team he's going to. And he is going to the D -D 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 Troy Pistons. This is... Oh my god, guys, I'm, I'm so happy right now. I, I know it's I know it's not real life. I know it's a video game. But oh my god, this is like exactly the type of player <laughs> that my Pistons need. I mean, any, any team could use Larry Legend and be like, yes, yeah, the player we need out there. But I mean, my team has no shooting. You know, they got Blake Griffin. They got uh, Andre Drummond. You run the ball through Larry Bird instead of Reggie Bitch-Ass Jackson. This team is good to go. Oh my god, dude, we definitely got to be a playoff team now in this case. All right, I'm happy about that. All right, next up, we have a center for the Los Angeles Lakers. You know him as Kazam or Shazam, whatever that movie was. It wasn't a good movie. Hopefully, that's not how you know him as. Hope you know him as Shaq or the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Yes, 98 overall. One of the most dominant players. You might say the most, like, dominant from, like, a body standpoint. 7'1", 325. Shaq, you was no 325, man. You was probably, like, 350, 360 out there. What's 2K trying to fool you for? Trying to pay you off, man. Trying to mess up your weight. All right, what team is he going to? He is going to, ooh, it was almost the Lakers, but instead he's going to the other team in LA, the Los Angeles Clippers. It's going to be kind of kind of strange to see uh, Shaq on a, you know, in a different Laker, or a different uh, LA type of uniform. But I mean, I'm sure the Clipper fans will be happy about this. And he's actually a really nice fit. I mean, of course, Montrez probably goes to the bench now, and this team probably could have used more of like a starting point guard. But uh, I was still not complaining about getting big Shaq on my team. All right, next we have... Hakeem, the dream Elijah of the Houston Rockets as he is rated, I believe, 98 overall. Yes, he is. So what team is he going to? Let's find out. He is going to the, ooh. Yo, this is about to get dangerous up in LA, guys. Not only do you get that Shaq Hakeem matchup, like a few games, you know, for a few game of seasons, um, but also, like I was saying, LeBron James is on the Lakers for this. So, you add Akeem Olajuwon to LeBron James. Kuzma at the four spot. That's perfect. You got Ingram out there. So, Lonzo Ball. Uh, watch out for the Lakers this time around, man. All right. Next, we have a member of the San Antonio Spurs. This guy is known for, you know, the layup, the bank shot, the fundamentals. That's why they call him the big fundamental. It is, of course, where the Spurs at. Tim and Duncan. 98 overall. So much fun to watch him, guys. I'm so happy I got to watch him, you know, throughout his prime years. And he's going to the Phoenix Suns. So, yes, this team actually does need a power forward. Um, Probably would have been a bit, bit, bit better if this team could have got a point guard because literally I don't know who the Phoenix Suns point guard even is. Like, who's running it these days? Is it still Devin Booker running point guard? Jamal, maybe? Uh, DeAnthony Melton, apparently? I don't know, guys. It's just not looking too good as far as that goes. But... You had Tim Duncan out there with Devin Booker, DeAndre, and TJ Warren. And, yeah, the team's still, still going to be really, really solid. All right, next, we have a member of the all-time Warriors team. Now, correct me if I'm wrong on this. Was this – because it was not always the Golden State Warriors. Wasn't this team, like – it was named differently. Like, it, I don't think they were the Golden State Warriors when Wilt played. Maybe it was a different team name. I don't really know, man. I know team names changed all the time back then. Uh, but, yes, it is Will Chamberlain, 98 overall player. The team he is going to is the – Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay, so this is going to be kind of fun to actually watch uh, what type of numbers he puts up because in all reality, like, like this offense is going to be give the ball to Will Chamberlain in the paint. Everybody else watch out. And that, I mean, that's exactly how we played back in the day, right? So, uh, yeah, he's going to be probably averaging like 50 points a game. There we go. And now we got one more player to go. The last 98 overall player rated or ranked in NBA 2K19. He plays for the Boston Celtics, and that is Bill Russell, guys. Just a pioneer when it comes to basketball. So many rings. Great defense. I'm, I'm not really sure how he would be in today's NBA because of, like, just how uh, offenses are run. But I still think he would be a solid, you know, shot blocker and rebounder. But he is 98 overall regardless. So the final team that is going to get a legend is going to be the... Utah Jazz. Okay, this is a very uh, uninteresting 
fit right here because, of course, they already have Rudy Gobert. Now, defensively, you know, you put Bill Russell or Rudy at power at power forward, and, yeah, nobody is scoring in the paint, plain and simple. Um, so, I guess it's I'm curious to see how that's all going to work out. Let me uh, trade. With, I, always, I always do that wrong, guys. But, yeah, he is going to the Utah Jazz. So, uh, let's pull him up over here real quick. Utah, oh, my God, what does Jay start with? Jazz. Okay, yeah. We got him, man. All right, so that's the 10 players. That's the 10 legends. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump cut to the beginning of a regular season and get all the rotations going, and we're going to see how these teams really do. Okay, so I went through each team, did the rotations, and basically, guys, I'm giving every single legend 48 minutes. I want to see what type of crazy numbers they can put up and uh, how big of a difference they can make for these teams. So here we go. We got MJ, of course, on the 76ers. Uh, we are going to go ahead, simulate the entire NBA season, see just how good these new look uh, crazy teams can really do okay so the uh, 76 there's a record of 53 and 28 i'm curious what these other records are looking like uh one more game against the bulls so mvp goes towards magic johnson he i put him as the small forward of the team so he averaged 25 points i'm sorry 26 points 12 rebounds 14 assists two steals one block absolutely insane numbers i'll look down just rookie of the year demarcus cousin six man of course uh, Bill Russell, defensive player, 14 points, 13 rebounds. I'm very curious, those defensive stats of the Utah Jazz. Uh, Jordan Clarkson, most improved. Steve Kerr, coach of the year. And then All-NBA first team, we got Curry, Kobe, Magic, Larry, and Shaq. All-NBA second with Joel, Giannis, Tim Duncan, Russell, and Damian Lillard. All-NBA third, MJ, James, Kawhi, Kevin, and Hakeem. So, uh, no LeBron James listed anywhere on this. It's, uh, I don't know, man, I was not really expecting that. Okay, so as far as teams in the playoffs, we got Toronto, Brooklyn, um, Cleveland with Will to Boston. We got Detroit, Washington, Philly, and Indiana. Golden State versus Phoenix. We got uh, OKC, Houston, Clippers, Utah, and Portland Lakers. So it seems like the uh, the players that went to the Western Conference teams had a lot better luck out there. I mean, it was only 10 players, so I don't really know what the allocation was as far as East versus West teams. Uh, let's actually go to the... I, actually want, I, mean, I do want to look at the Jazz real quick because I want to see their... Uh, I want to see their defensive stats with uh, Bill Russell out there. So, player stats on the season looking like this. I mean, Bill Russell, 15 points, 13 rebounds, 12 and 10 for Rudy Gobert. Block shots, I mean, fantastic for that. Team stats on the season, though. So, uh, defensively, they were, yeah, man, they were the best defensive team. I was kind of expecting that. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the player stats real quick for all the teams here, just so you can see how your favorite team did with the new star on there. So, that's what it's looking like for the Lakers out there. Uh, we got, uh, what's the next team, man? Yeah, we got Larry. Oh, my God. 33 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists for the uh, Detroit Pistons and Larry Bird. Uh, we got Kobe averaging 24 and 8 on the Rockets. Uh, we got Tim Duncan at 22 and 16 rebounds, 6 assists for the Suns. Uh, we got, uh, we already know what Magic did on the uh, Trailblazers. Warriors with Kareem at 18 points, 13 rebounds. I mean, we got so many offensive options. Yeah, some guys are not really going to be shooting as much. Michael Jordan kind of did not play all that great, man. 24 points. I mean, th th those are good numbers, but that's MJ right there. You know, playing 48 minutes. He would definitely average more than that. Uh, we got uh, Wilt on the Cavaliers. Only at 18 points, 13 rebounds. What the hell, man? Uh, Celtics. Uh, we got Clippers with Shaq at 24 and 15. Grizzlies, Hawks, Heat, Hornets, Jazz. We know what they're looking like. Okay, I think we went through all the teams, actually. So let's go ahead, man, and uh, see which team actually ends up winning the NBA Finals. I'm voting for the Detroit Pistons, man. Although it looks like I swear they all lose to Washington. Oh my god! Oh my god! They lose to Washington. Okay, they. Oh my god! It's three one. It's three one. Yo, let me all. Uh, let me. Let me. Let me submit the rest of this one, you guys. Simulate current round. Oh my god, dude! Come on, man! Come on! Come on! Come on, Detroit! Bounce back! Bounce back, man! And we just lost to the uh, the the no superstar Washington Wizards. Whatever. So we got Toronto, Cleveland. Uh, Washington, Indiana, no stars there. Lakers, Utah, Golden State, Houston, similar current round. Watch the Toronto Raptors still win everything out here, man. Yo, come on, come on, Wilt, get him, man. Yo, Wilt Chamberlain just swept the Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors literally all by himself. So we have the Lakers with Hakeem and a LeBron. We got Golden State, of course. Indiana doesn't have a star on their team on this. And, of course, we have the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, similar current round. See how this goes. And we were going to finish up with, looks like... All right, man. Yo, Lakers got got by the uh, Warriors, and we got uh, the Pacers gone. So we got Will Chamberlain versus Hakeem. No, I'm sorry, not Hakeem. Who was it? Uh, uh, Kareem, Kareem, not Hakeem. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the NBA Finals. But of course, you know the Warriors have a few uh, 
nicer pieces out there, I would say that, to compliment their guys. And uh, we got the Warriors winning all four games. Too. I think we all could have probably predicted that going into this video. Um, as soon as we saw that they got uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar out there. But it wasn't really even him that took over. It was Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I love doing these randomly assigned videos. So if you want some more of these, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.